Welcome to my life at IE University in Madrid, Spain, studying communications and digital media. I usually spend the first two-ish hours of the day, my most focused hours, doing the hardest homework assignments. So today I was working on an assignment for political communications where we had to analyze a political spot, write a short essay about it, and then do a little presentation in class. My week got off to kind of a bad start because the night before, I tripped over my tripod and my camera lens, which used to be one solid piece, is now two pieces. It looks fixable to me. I don't know, I'm not a camera repair expert, but I feel like some wires just need to be reattached to the other part. This lens was $900 and it's also not insured, so. Then I studied for an exam for audience and consumer insights. I tried something a little new. I took my review notes and the list of concepts the professor said we have to know. I gave that to ChatGPT and I said, write me some review questions. So then with those questions, I tried to answer them as completely as I could without referencing my notes. And then I would check to see what I missed. That is called active recall and that's a science-backed study technique for you. Honestly, I feel pretty ready for this exam. I was gonna study for two hours on Friday and two hours today, but I did one hour on Friday and I've done just over one hour today and I feel good. Today I'm bringing a packed lunch. I have to return this Zoom audio recorder to the school media lab and my friend's plastic Tupperware. Finally decided on something to wear. Let's go. My boyfriend usually has morning classes and I have afternoon, so we try to have lunch together at school when we can, and we take turns, one of us brings something to eat. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's back at it! She's back <laughs> I had two classes. First, I took that exam, it went super well, and then I had another one called Innovation Lab Creativity Tools. Before I went home, I decided to do a little lap around the floor so that you can see what this campus of IE looks like. It's a tower, it's basically a skyscraper, and most of the floors that have classrooms on them look the same, they look like this. It's very corporate, it doesn't feel much like a university, but it does look pretty nice. I have to say that the views are amazing. Wow, it was a very school focused day. So on my time oops, on my time tracking, school is represented by the light blue color. So I spent my whole morning working on schoolwork and then all these classes. So in total seven and a half hours on school. My goal this month is to spend less than 20 hours on schoolwork per week. Good morning. <laughs> On Tuesday, I woke up extra early to take my camera, my poor baby, to a camera repair shop before I went to school. I left the lens with them and they said that they will look at it and then send me a budget for how much it's gonna cost to fix it. I'm praying. Normally on Tuesdays, I would have a class called IE Challenge in the morning, but today we just had a coaching session. So instead of that three hour class, it was just a 30 minute group check-in with the professor. So before our coaching session, I got some homework done. Then we met with our group to go over what we were presenting. We attended the meeting. And then as we always do on Tuesdays, my boyfriend and I went to the gym together and then had lunch at the cafeteria. Water and iced coffee and air conditioning. I had
had a very weird dream where characters from IE and from my high school mixed. I don't know if I feel better. I definitely need to drink some water now, have a little snack. <laughs> got some editing done, I had my first Lingoda French class of the week. So I've been trying to do two classes per week. They're an hour long each in a small group with a native level tutor. As much as I like doing my little Duolingo lessons on the metro, it does not compare to getting speaking, listening, writing, and reading practice for a full hour. So if you want to try learning a language with Lingoda, whether it's French or they also do Spanish, German, and Business English, I highly recommend it. And if you use my code, wink wink, you can get a discount of 20 euros or $25 for you Americans. A little while ago, we had these journaling questions about self-awareness, and for this session, we had to represent our answers to those questions visually. Um, now, I really wanted to do a little bit of something fun just to finish out the day, so I put this on my calendar. I will not be in Spain for Halloween, which is a bummer. I'm going to Lithuania. So, I wanted to organize a little Halloween get-together before I leave so that I can still celebrate the holiday. I'm gonna try to find some Halloween gathering ideas and also pick a date and yeah figure out the logistics of this wait i thought i had bought bell peppers i did not so instead we're gonna eat these frozen vegetables still no light I finished up that political spot assignment and then I practiced my presentation, which is just me talking to myself for a long time. For this one class called IE Challenge, we are consulting a relationship wellness app. One of the things we have to do for research is talk to an expert. So I reached out to my former therapist. It's way too warm for a sweater, but this is just to have some semblance of professionalism. I did it. Dun, 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 dun. And then I went to class, we watched everyone's presentations. I actually did not present that day because we did not have enough time for everyone, so I was gonna present next week. We met up to finish a quick little group assignment. Bye vlog! <laughs> and then I walked a little bit more around the school just to show you what it looks like. Most Wednesday evenings, they do this thing called Music Wednesdays. They have free food and music. So I hung out there, got some groceries, and then prepared some food for the next few days. A little late night cooking session. I started the day with another French class, then spent the entire morning editing until it was time to go down to campus. I met up with a friend for lunch. There's kind of like this mall area underneath the tower with a bunch of restaurants. So we had lunch at this American breakfast place called La Desayuneria. We had class uh, where we were working on a group project. None of us really had any idea what was going on. <laughs> but we did accomplish some group bonding. We had a lot of fun that day. Afterwards, my boyfriend came over, I did some cleaning, heated up some food, and then we settled into work for the rest of the evening. I think I stayed up until one editing, and then he stayed an hour longer studying for a midterm. It's finally Friday. Actually, I'm not gonna say finally because every week has been going by so fast. I did not have any classes on Friday, but after spending the morning Doing more editing, surprise, surprise. I went to campus anyways, just to go to the gym, which is a long journey to go just for the gym, but it is, it is free. It's a free gym, so it's worth it. A 
bit more work at home and then it was time to close the computer for the day. Oh, I should have dramatically closed my laptop in this shot. Anyways, I tried ordering food from Too Good To Go for the first time. So I went to go pick that up. Okay, so I got five slices of pizza for four euros, not bad. I was not able to finish the YouTube video, so I'm a little bummed about that. The main reason why it's taking so long is because it's about weekly planning and I want to actually show screen recordings of as much of the process as possible. Like I want you, sorry, that's the dishwasher. I want you to actually be able to see what I'm doing on my computer, but there's a lot of private information on there that needs to be blurred. And instead of blurring the entire screen, because I just think that would be very boring for you, I want to blur as little as possible but that means that I need to like create all these rectangular masks and keyframe them so that they move as I'm scrolling the page and this takes so long so yeah but overall I'm excited about the video I think this is a good one Nice chill Saturday. We went to a couple of brunch places, but they were all full. Finally, we were able to get a table at Nomad Cafe. I continued working on the video. I just needed to do the thumbnail and the uploading, and finally it would be ready. We cooked some food for dinner. Look at that beautiful product placement. Watched a John Mulaney special on Netflix, and then in the evening, we went out. This was my first time going out this semester. Um, I don't know, I just have not felt like going out or drinking or staying up late or anything. I've been in a very grandma mood, but this night was super, super fun, so I'm very glad that I went. 